I've taken the cells out from the minus 80. They've just finished thawing. Remember, I've got ice in here. I place water in there. It's just more of an ice bath than it is just straight ice. So I'm following the protocol for these particular cells. This, these competent cells out of order come with a protocol sheet from New England Biolabs, the five alpha cells. Take 50 microliters. So gently flick the tube. I take 50 microliters out because I don't need to use the whole tube. Um, there's more than one transformation in there. I'm putting it into a pre-chilled tube. The tube has been sitting there, so there's the 550 microliters. And then I need a tube for my control as well. So I'm pulling out another 50 microliters. I'm sticking it here. And then I add 1 to 5 microliters containing my plasmids. I'm going to add 3 microliters to these. Let's get out the... This is... Recall our transformations. The L is the, the DNA that we did. Taking 3 microliters. I'm putting that into the natural color tube. Okay. With control, I'm going to stick that into the pink or salmon color tube. Three microliters. It says flick them gently, don't vortex, because the cells are very gentle, or very fragile, sorry. And we're supposed to leave them on ice for 30 minutes. So start this going. I'll put the timer, but I'm also going to return this right away to the minus 80. So now the cells have been sitting for 20 minutes. I am setting the timer to 30 seconds. Once again, I'm not following the Promega transformation protocol. I'm following the NEB transformation protocol. It's a different vendor, same principles, but slightly different times and volumes and other things like that. Okay, so these are the cells. I'll move them over to 42 degrees for exactly 30 seconds. It says do not mix. And then once they've been in here for 30 seconds, then I move them right back to the ice for five minutes. Then we'll add SOC to those tubes and shake them. Six, five, I'm moving them over since I didn't start the timer right away. Okay, set this for five minutes. So we're just about there, we've got another 15 seconds before our 5 minutes is up. And it's important as we put media in or out of these tubes or how we treat the E. coli cells that we're uh, sensitive to the temperatures because they aren't very strong. Their cells have been, cell walls have been filled full of holes through the competency process and that's what makes them chemically competent. So we, want, we need to be gentle with this, and one part of being gentle with these cells is being aware of what temperature things are when we add solutions to or from, or even the temperatures of tubes, right? So it's the next step says to add room temperature SOC into the mixture at 950 microliters. So I'm going to go over to the next, to the hood over here and add that in to some fresh SOC that we just made. Let those incubate for an hour. Okay, here's some fresh SOC. Um, before I do that, I want to get a control for this. And here are some tubes, an empty tube. What I'm going to put into here is just empty SOC. And I'm going to follow this through all the way to the overnight culture with the 5 mil LB media and during my plasma preps. And I'm going to use this just to see if I have any uh, residue contamination or unintentional contamination for this. So I was talking on top of that tip. Let's get a new tip. And pull out one of these SOCs. Okay. Adding 950. Um, lifting up the plunger with my thumb very carefully because I don't want SOC media to go up to the inside the barrel of the pipetter otherwise it'll there's certainly bacteria contaminations up at the top into the barrel. Let's get another tip. Okay. 
Okay. Now we need the control. So again, I lift up the, the let the plunger up very carefully, so I don't get any contamination from media going up in the barrel of the pipetter. Okay. Now we mix these a little bit. I put them on ice. I probably should have put them directly on the, at room temperature, not put them back on ice. And one more of our empty tube, right? So this I will incubate. This is my negative control. It's not marked. Um, I'll incubate this alongside the other samples and just to make sure there's nothing growing in here. Um, probably nothing's going to grow that I can see within an hour. I wouldn't expect it just because given enough time in the cell cycle for E. coli, even if there's just one cell in here, I won't see it. 